This is my Henry vacuum. The reason for this video is I was cleaning the floor of the garage, had a 20 minute break and then went to use it again and it just didn't work. It was working totally fine before that. I find it's always useful to have one in the garage so I'm not borrowing one from the house. I had a couple of choices here. Should I take it down the tip or try fixing it? Well there's no harm to try and fix things. So let's give it a go. When trying this out we've got a power light but when we flick that on switch we get no motor sound in so this is either the switch um, or the motor or something between that but um pretty sure it's not the cable because we've got a power light there take it apart and see what we can find inside. There's four screws holding the top together. Um, we can attack this with um, a Torx driver. It's a T15 screw on this particular model that we need to use to undo those four screws. outer shell for the lid and now this is the the cable drum um, it's got some contacts in the middle which transfer uh, the, the power to the um to the switch now we can get to the switch contacts behind this cover so let's, let's pop that cover off and if if you got um an ohms meter you can um, test the conductivity of the switch just to verify whether it is a switch that's at fault. Now we test the front two contacts and we get open circuit there. The rear two contacts we have contact so there's a double pole in this switch and it appears that one of the contacts in there isn't working. Now we can take the switch apart, there's um, a couple of plastic pins on each side. Uh, if we're careful we can actually pop the cap off the top of the switch and, and take a look inside. There is a spring in there, or two springs, and um, make sure you don't lose those when you take the top off. my ones they, they did actually have some fur on the contact and you wouldn't have thought that would have stopped the contact but it did in my case so um so yeah, I, I gave them a good clean and then um went to go and pop it back together sounds good so there's no, no, no sponginess in there so we must have put it back together well now let's verify to see if we've cleared the fault it does help if you turn it on there we go yep so the front two contacts we've, um, we've got a nice short circuit there which is what we want and just verify that our rear ones are still working as well which they are so it looks like we've cleared the fault and it was just just a switch now if you can't repair the switch or you damage that one when you take it apart you can buy replacement switches which is going to be far cheaper than buying a new vacuum cleaner so it is it's worth you know looking into that and um and change the switch if you can't fix it back together. 
together. That should just all slide in nicely. Verify that the cable's not trapped. So uh, uh, yeah, once that's all done, um, pop the four screws back in and do them back up, and soon it'll be ready for testing. So hopefully this video has helped some people out there. Um, click on subscribe if you like the video. And, um, hopefully I'll do some more like this.